Hi there, long time no see. So today we are going to practice our oral speaking. Um, today's topic is about two topics. It's a economic phenomenon. First topic is an economic phenomenon. It's a stimulus package we face recently, and also a very uh, a YouTuber. I admire her very much. So this YouTuber is not like the other youtuber you you can see other youtuber or jd they are naturally high or just they are fake joy but this youtuber said things in a very a severe expression so one reason for that her he she explained is that because she doesn't quite adapt to film herself and the other reason is that she tried to be truthful to herself she don't want to pretend she's happy also and another th phenomenon I'm going to discuss today is the uh, from the economic explained uh, this you YouTube channel illustrate a stimulus package a variety of stimulus package we have today so today our government try to make our hibernation economy back to normal so they use a variety a lot of stimulus package to try to make our economy try to make people stay in a stability so today we are going to discuss some of these measures we are facing right now so the basic foundation uh, of this stimulus package is get people spending so usually government will increase tax and uh, uh, reduce spend, reduce government spending and raise interest during a very good up, upturn of the economy to try to save the government some money while during this uh, downturn of the economy the government will do the opposite way they try to decrease the interest and decrease the tax and increase the government spending to make the um, as a lot of money to circulate around our economy so we can see a phenomenon here that Australia is non response to this economic recession uh, most reason comes from they are government is active fast to this pandemic so their government just um, they, they did their government do it on the uh, this way so any residents in Australia can get about five hundred dollars per week for they have to sit in a home during this pandemic so this is not make make it uh ring like money but it can fully support the people to live uh, live the same lifestyle as before and also this pandemic has some silver lining too because which encourage the person to live a relatively more frugal way which is definitely contrary to their their lifestyle before and also they have some job keeper money like they spend seven hundred dollars per week to the employer that they if they can keep their employee employed on paper they can get this uh, 700 like this money subsidy to keep their business function which is very good and the second thing is their universal basic income so this illustrates that if you are the residents of this uh, country the Australia you can get, get the universal basic income uh, uh, about uh, 500 a week I remember so this was a actually very good because uh, for one thing the government do not need to hire an army of welfare administrator to get on the right amount to the right person because this is a universal basic income all the people have access to the same amount set of money 
And also the second thing, this policy can wipe out some unfairness out of the economy because the higher income, the, the person who received the higher income, the more taxes uh, he or she should pay back. So for example, if a pregnant woman or some lower income job workers, they receive this universal basic income, they just keep uh, exactly the same amount they receive while the higher income person like the CEO they also receive this subsidy too that is universal basic subsidy too but they should pay back according to their high income because their high income uh, lies on the higher income tax bracket so they have to pay back the extra receiving of those subsidy to the economy so which is very uh they, they can work out any unfairness out of the economy very well it also is a very self-regulated policy but actually some person may ask is it is it this universal basic income is a cure for the economy and uh, i can answer you no it's not a cure for the economy this because during this uh, lockdown pandemic even though you give a universal basic income to the individual individual or the business actually the person would not go out to spend their money they just spend their money on some larger company like amazon prime or ebay they are uh, they dare not to go out for dinner so a large part of this subsidy money can't circulate into the real economy so maybe the better time for this subsidy to be active is in is once all the dust come down so when all the dust comes down, so it's the right time to disperse the money, disperse those universal basic income to the economy. And we should discuss another phenomenon that uh, America, because they face the electoral federal, uh, ele the federal election is coming close to them, so they try to favor some short term economic resolution over the long term because they want to solve the problem like immediately although it's not possible so they disperse 20 trillion historic big stimulus package to the market so america is an uh, economy right uh, who's the biggest part of their income comes from the business. The high propensity income comes from the business and the billionaire. So maybe America should consider to implement some measures pro business while the pro while can e implement some economy is pro people. So that's how we're talking today. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye.